Good morning guys. What is up? How's it going? I am feeling really tired right now because we were up at like 5.30. We're at the Cape Flattery Trail. If you watched the episode yesterday, I kind of explained why we're up so early. It's low tide here at like 6.30 a.m. and we were about an hour and a half to two hours away. Took us about, yeah, an hour and 40 minutes to get here. So it's not the lowest tide right now, but it still is low tide. It's about uh, 8 p or 8 a.m. But whoo, without a coffee, doing an early morning drive was uh, was a bit tough. So hopefully I can find a spot at some point here to boil up some water. And it's gonna be instant coffee, but sometimes that's just got to do on the road. I'm I'm not s too snobby for instant coffee, so hopefully I can make some of that before we drive out because we have plenty of exploring today. We're just going to be exploring the coast a lot. Unfortunately, Alana's not feeling the greatest today. She's just going to rest up in the car. I'm going to go check it out for a bit. Kind of a bummer. Uh, I hope she feels better soon. I'm going to go back and check on her in a little while. I don't think this trail's too long. I think it's about a half a mile. I'm already using American units. I think it's about a kilometer. So it's it's not too long. I'm gonna venture out, check it out, and then go back and check on her and hopefully she can come explore. So feel better, Alana. Thing that I absolutely love, love, love about these coasts and coming to see these capes and these bays and all that stuff, that you get to walk along these completely magical, like enchanted looking boardwalks, as you can see, as you've seen in the footage, through rainforest, which is like vibrant and green. Like, okay, look at look at these handrails. Like look at how freaking beautiful that is. You get to walk through all this, and then you get to walk through vibrant green rainforest while you're at it. And then not only is the journey just absolutely jaw-droppingly cool, you get to these outstanding lookout points where you're either on like a beach on your own, you get like these cool sea-stacked rocks that have just formed from erosion. Like there's the the coast itself is also just mind-blowingly awesome. And so the whole experience is just like surreal. I, I love these places so much, like almost as much as mountains. But I think mountains still top this a little bit, literally and figuratively. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's actually the next day because uh, we had an interesting night last night. Unfortunately, after we went and saw Cape Flattery, Alana really wasn't feeling good. So we ended up driving a bit back into Clallam Bay and we stayed at our first hotel of the entire trip there. But it was, it was so worth it. Uh, Alana's doing a little bit better today, but she's not at 100%, so we're just gonna walk along this beach a little bit, take her easy, and uh, just enjoy some sights today. I figured I'd just throw this all into one episode, uh, just so that you guys have a little bit more to watch. But uh, here's Alana, she's trooping it.
has been uploaded. We had our Wi-Fi time. My walking maps is yelling at me to turn up here. We're gonna walk around Seattle, see what else there is to do. We're gonna try and get tickets to this awesome art museum exhibition. Don't think it's gonna happen. Well, it's sold out. We figured that would happen. It did look really cool though. Next it's, time you can get tickets is Sunday at 8 a.m. It is currently Friday. So. So, yeah, and the only way you can get tickets is if you show up and wait in line. And I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of people there and we are not gonna be here. So, moving on. Back at the parking lot, grabbing our car. We decided we're just gonna drive around Seattle to see the rest of the sites. Uh, sorry, Seattle, we probably didn't do you a ton of justice, so anyone who's from Seattle and it happens to be watching this is probably like, ah, oh, you should have gone and seen this, and that. But we're in a bit of a rush, we gotta get to Mount Rainier tomorrow, and then like in a day or two after be in Oregon to meet up with her family at Cannon Beach, so that's gonna be super cool. Unfortunately, it means we have to do this part of the trip. A little bit rushed. See the Space Needle? Check. This rock is round, I like it. Just in time after finishing our kombucha, we are at the Mecca of health foods. Whole Foods! Could you, imagine, could you imagine if it was a store that actually just sold only whole versions of things? Uh, they don't sell, sell a steak, they sell the whole cow. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. You have to buy a whole wheel of cheese. I love cheese. That would be amazing. <laughs> we went and picked it out, all this amazing food, and then it ended up just being this like pile of mismatched stuff in the container that I had, but all I know is that it was delicious. We actually had a bit of a change of plans because while we were chilling at Whole Foods, we did a bit of research <laughs> And we realized that Mount Rainier is pretty much entirely engulfed in smoke. Yeah, so Mount Rainier has webcams that you can look in and see like the weather conditions because a lot of people say it has its own weather system. But right now, there's fires pretty close to it. So we looked at the webcams of some of the hikes that we were wanting to do and <laughs> it was just gray. Yeah, so we have actually come at all the way to Aberdeen instead of going to Mount Rainier uh, because we're just gonna drive along the coast so we are in the Walmart in Aberdeen so we are gonna end this but if you enjoyed coming and checking out Seattle with us hit that subscribe like this video all that stuff it it helps my pride at least I don't I don't make anything donate to a poor soul your sub subscriptions no I'm kidding but uh, if, if you did like this Join us on this road trip because we're having a blast. And I hope you guys are having a blast following along with us. So, good night, guys.